Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today, Penguin is out. Kind of weirdly, without much advertising as to when he's gonna be out, he kind of just randomly appeared after one Japanese live event. But uh, yeah, we have Tengen, and today I think we're gonna learn how to play Tengen together. I've fiddled around a little bit in training mode, but what I've been enjoying recently in games like DNF Duel and Guilty Gear when I've been watching is I enjoy seeing how other people learn their characters. So I thought I'd try to do that with Tengen today. So we'll just talk about a little bit about what he does and jump into some online matches real quick. So Tengen, um, I think if there was a competition as to who is the easiest character in the game, if that was a question before, I think Mama Tengen here has jumped in and definitely taken first place. He seems like quite the easy character. You can just press whatever the heck buttons you want and it'll do everything you want. I think the main <laughs> the main contester or the main culprit of this craziness is this special move he has. His tilt special is ridiculous. It's plus on block, it starts combos, it's a screw neutral thing that has like a little bit of tracking. Travels maybe full screen. I actually haven't tested this, but um nearly full screen. So super ridiculous move. It goes into combos, also does a lot of damage, and because it has so many hits, it's, you know, safe, it can be cancelled after the last hit, the opponent can accidentally run into it, and it can be jump cancelled, I'm not sure about on whiff. Yeah, so if the opponent is waiting for to punish you, you can jump out of the way, unlike Rengoku, who cannot cancel it on whiff. It's a really, really crazy special move, and it's equally good in the air, unlike Rengoku, who, you know, kind of doesn't travel as far. Tengen still travels ridiculously far when he does this in the air. And if he does, like, an aerial sidestep or something off of it, he's close enough to do the ground, to do weird stuff like this. And, goodness, it's a, it's a crazy special move. I think that special move itself is what holds this character together. Because these other two special moves are useful, but they're nothing ridiculous. So his normal special is this kind of slow, it has this kind of animation where it looks like he's blocking at the start. I'm not sure if that blocks any projectiles or has any guard point or whatever. Or armor or whatever, I don't think so. It's just kind of slow, does a bunch of hits, does decent damage, and the opponent goes into a crumple state. They're in a crumple state for quite a while, so you can go for things like an armor attack if you wait for a bit, and then go for your armor attack if you like doing combos like this. Or you can even... If you want to go in the air for some reason, you can wait and go for your air attacks. You just have to be careful when you're doing stuff like this because it's jump cancelable at any point, so you can't be mashing the jump button or you accidentally just cancel it out early and you won't get the crumple. And you'll just spend unnecessary meter, even if you do get the crumple save. I just spent a meter for the jump, but if I wait long enough, then I don't have to. Um, I said this, um, his tilt special was the only crazy thing, but it seems like his guard special is pretty awesome too. So yes, it's a completely invincible DP. It doesn't have very great range, like, you know, he steps forward a little bit, kicks into the air. It has crazy recovery, even more than some other invincible DPs like Rengoku or anyone else's. It has a lot, a lot of recovery. Um, not a great hitbox, you know, because he just kicks straight up in the air, doesn't move too far forwards. But... You know, if you really need a DP in a combo, you know there's a gap in some sequence or something, or you're going to get pressured by a support and a person attacking you, and they're going for grabs or whatever, it will work as a DP, but you just have to be careful, because you can't just throw it out like some other DPs and hope that it hits, because it, it, it doesn't carry you. You have to know exactly when to use it. But, that said, it's also a very good tool in combos, because it is a free follow-up. It is a move that lets you follow up with the dash for free, so you can just dash in. And it actually has so much hitstone, you can actually do grounded attacks that are slow, like your grab or your armor attack. So, there could be some cool combos. Um, haven't really figured out anything too cool with the armor attack, but with the grab it's very useful because you're kind of like, um, Enmu, how he ends grabs ends with grabs most of the time at the end of the combos because he can just go for a grab so at any time if you're not near a wall but if your combo counter is getting really really low and you've done some sort of really long combo that does not link by the way <laughs> pretend the combo counter is really low you can always end your combo in a dp into a grab to get a decent amount of damage and the grab actually gives you pretty good knockdown i've noticed so um i have the opponent set to order quick recover so they can be knocked down for longer but even on quick recover you have enough time just to like go for this crazy special move and it's practically immediate. There's no chance the opponent can, you know, go for much there. They can't really jump out, I don't think, or sidestep. They just have to sit there and hold that. Maybe they could armor. I'm not sure, but it's crazy that he's able to go in for this so quickly um, and so guaranteed. 
after a throw, so it's good that he has, you know, good guaranteed pressure. And also, obviously, he has the, the ability just to, like, dash in, and that hits pretty meaty as well. Doesn't give the opponent much time to do anything. So, ending with a grab seems pretty good. Other than that, you know, all of his buttons seem pretty typical. His attack string's basically the same as your Tanjiro or any other sword user. It's nothing strange like Makomo. The up combo, very basic too. Just hit the ground into the air. And ground combo, nothing fancy, just blacks him on the ground. But with the ground combo, that's kind of what you want. You don't want it to be too long in case you want to end your combo with it. So, um, that's basically it. The only, like, real interesting thing, or quickly with combos, you know, just, I think it's, if you want to combo into your standing special, you have to wait till that part of your combo to combo into it, or else it just won't work. But, um, you can cancel the first three hits into this, and then into this if you'd like. And then do some kind of combo like that. Hopefully you're not near the corner, because then that screws up. But that does about 3,500 damage, which is okay. Or you can cancel into your DP early to get some, um, oopsie. To get some kind of dash cancel rejump combos. And then get a kind of reset there if you go for a grab or an armor attack. It seems like Tengen is kind of like Sabito, where he can't get really ginormous damage very easily. Um, but he's always, always going to be getting above 3,000. You're always going to be getting your 3,000 to 3,500 as long as you spend two bars, like, off of any hit. Which is really good. Getting consistent damage is important. And not all characters have that privilege, like um, poor Shinobu. Roy Tengen does get some pretty good damage is off of... Situations like this where he gets a good way of getting special, so it's usually going to be this special move, if I'm being honest. So just whenever you can, if you start your combos with this, you're just going to do more damage, because that's just how scaling works. And then go for a- oops, I was a bit slow on the grab there, but you know, you get the grab. Or, if you get the aerial version, if you're close enough to the ground, you can actually cancel into grounded um, moves. So as you can see here, I'm close enough to the ground that I can go for my DP and then get whatever combos I, I want off of that. Uh, that was a bad ender, but as you can see, that's, that's going to do a lot of damage. Even if I wanted to keep it cheap and just go for a down combo, it'd be pretty good. Because Tengen does actually have one of the really slow meter regen speeds in the game. It takes a long time for him to start building meter, so ending your combo without a special move could be really, really viable for him. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. All I have to say so far in the matches we're going to go into now, we can figure out what seems powerful to do with Tengen, what seems... We'll figure out what's good pressure, what's plus when we go into some online battles. I think that's all I have to say. Oh, yeah, also, the reason why I'm using a Makomo support is honestly just because I'm playing on my PC now and I haven't unlocked all the characters. And I just wanted a character with a decently ranged um, grab and regular water Tanjiro does not have that. And, uh, I don't know, kind of like Makomo, because it seems like Tengen is a really good character if you have, um, a good team. He's a very good swap-out character, because stuff like this, where he lunges completely forward so far and then does a ton of hits afterwards, is, you know, your really amazing stuff for getting guaranteed fresh up. You see, I'm Makomo now. Tengen's still out there doing that, so it just gives me tons of time if the opponent's blocking to go for a grab or get combos or whatever. It's really, really kind of overpowered, so that's why I have Makomo. And, uh, yeah, I think it's about time that we go into online. See you there. Okay, we've got another Tengen, which is kind of, you know, more what I was expecting when I was playing, in, playing Tengen for the first time. Usually expect a bunch of mirror matches for a week. And not... A Don and move, but oh wait, which one am I? Nope, oh, this one. Wait, which one? I can't even tell. <laughs> oh, I'm the brown one, right? Hey there. Oh, that sucks. Oops. He likes your throws, don't you? Oops. At least I have kind of a safe almond attack because it reaches so far, it's pretty hard to punish. Oops. Ooh, it seems like they've gotten rid of the tracking on some supports, which is... Or, like, lowered the tracking. Hopefully that's actually a thing and I'm not just imagining it, because that would be really nice. Oops, nice TP. Oh, 
Yeah, happens to the best of us. It's okay. Oh, damn! Did they wake up? Get rid of some wake up invincibility. <laughs> oh, love being high level. This stage looks kind of ugly from this side. Can we spin around? No, how did that miss? Very sad. No! Okay, at least he didn't punish with more than a grab. I'm coming for you again. I, I couldn't go into a DP. What is this? Okay. Okay. Damn. If I lose to this person that only uses grabs. Grabs BOP, I guess. <laughs> no! I tried to DP again. Ooh, okay, good job, Rengoku. You actually did something. Oh, I'm doing an armor attack. See, it looks like I did an armor attack um after his thing came out, but I promise you, I pressed the armor attack before the activation of his ultimate was on screen. That was not <laughs> That was not me being an absolute idiot. That was not me being an absolute idiot. Shut up. That was a delay. <laughs> No, what are you doing mashing in my block strings? Just gonna get some of that meter back. Oh! Hit me out of it, that's not very nice. Oh, and I got hit by a grab again. What am I gonna do? Actually, I'm pretty sure I can recover from that grab. Like my AI kept doing when I was in training mode. Can I come into my ultimate? Like this. Oh, just. He nearly touched that floor and got the weird landing invincibility frames. But there we go. Look at that. Juicy combo and a juicy... Animation. Um, by the way, I had a match previously with Enmu. And, um, it was really laggy, so I'm pretty sure I've cut it out. But um, it was just a lot of dodging projectiles, and everything was in about two frames per second. And so we had a nice kind of stop motion gameplay going on. Ooh! Oh, thanks. Come on, Voria! <laughs> Wait! How'd you fall out of it? You gonna use. I thought you were gonna use your support, bro. Okay, I don't know where all my buttons just went that I was trying to punish with, but okay. <coughs> Get my meter back so we can destroy... Very soon. Are you ready? Coming for you. Oh, I'm dead! <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> But see, there again, it looks like I did the, the thing after the time stop of the ultimate. I promise I did it beforehand, and it, <laughs> Oh, goodness. What if I just mash ultimate or, or this? That's safer, so I'll do that. Yay! Tang and FTW. I have no idea- So that Enmu player we were fighting against before. You probably didn't see it, but it was such a horrific connection. It was like it was in stop motion. It kind of kept jittering between being fast and slow, like every half second. It's like it was really awful. But this player I was just against, it said they were in North America. I'm in Australia. How is that connection better than the Enmu? What kind of connection was that bloody Enmu playing on? No Tengen though. Kind of strange. You best know that we're gonna start with our tilt special again. And then do it again. Oh, okay. Pushback it is pretty punishable, but I can cancel it on whiff into a DP or whatever. I think the opponent's gonna do that again. But that doesn't combo, my bad. 
Oh, okay, nice DP. Well, I thought I was plus enough. Or I guess I wasn't very close to get any kind of buttons or whatever. See how much damage this does. It won't kill, but um, may as well try for the comeback. Oh, what happened? Oh, I tried to jump sidestep, but everything is just always later than I expect. I promise I'll stop complaining about it soon. Actually, no, I can't promise any of that. Yay! Cool, that's an interesting frame trap situation. Oof, that was not the right special move. Oh, intentional resets, but I don't have any meter to end the combo. Okay, okay Tengen, we did a round. That's, I, I'll call that a flawless. Oh goodness, my jump stuff came out too late. <laughs> Interesting combo choices, I know. I just go into a down combo? No, I do not have much time there. No! Okay, should I break this into combo, or should I just let my meter build while he's attacking me? Okay, that wasn't too bad. Ah, wrong way! Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Very good. I think I might as well boost if he ever gets close. Or I'll just win. <laughs> the powers of using a new character that no one knows how to fight against. This is the true strength of Ahashira. Oh god, I keep messing that up and not doing it. At the times that I should be doing it. Oh, okay. Nice combo. Made sure not to drop on me accidentally. Use that little delay. Good job, Zenitsu. But I can also do this, so there. Oh, no! I pressed that button accidentally. It would have worked really well. He would have broken anyways, but... No! <laughs> How do I keep using my DP at the worst times possible? Hello, where's my special move? No! Oh my god, my buttons keep re <laughs> No! <laughs> that was meant to be a dash cancel! Not an ultimate, I wanted to go into surge. Now I've kind of wasted a bunch of meter and he's gonna grab me, how do I get this? I don't. Okay. <laughs> no, oh my goodness, I feel like that one ultimate kind of cost me the game. If I'd have dash cancelled, gone into something, into boost and set, man, that could have been so good, but I messed it up. Let me just take my hard knockdown like a pro and do the same thing again and do the same thing again no and fail and cry come here no whoa who do you think you're doing okay this shouldn't do too much damage so i'm not gonna bother breaking it oh god i'm too far away to get that kind of punish Okay, um, so that doesn't have great tracking if the opponent is moving in any way. No, get off of me, I don't want to take your grab. Oh, but I do want to do this! <laughs> okay, okay, um, so even though using the tilt special constantly has been working pretty well for me, I do have to pay attention that it has 
No, it doesn't have tracking. It doesn't follow the opponent very well at all. And if it does go past the opponent, all of the flashy stuff he's doing is not towards the opponent. So maybe I should make sure I have a support when I do that so I can at least cover myself because I can't dash cancel until the end of the move as well. <laughs> this is high level stuff right here. Oh goodness, even that drop. You're all part of the plan. And I'm letting him do this combo right now to get him let him have the feeling. The ooh! Ooh, nice, nice. Okay, Tengen. I don't really know what I'm doing and I keep pressing the wrong buttons, but we're kind of doing something. Whoa. <laughs> Card knocked down, built some meter, and then do the same thing again. Oh no, it was too slow. Just use Makamoto. At least it's not too much damage. No! Ah, I thought he was gonna go for a grab. And now I'm very dead unless he screws up, but he might. Oh, unless. Oh! Makamo was nearly back in time. That was really smart of him just to go for the prime at the edge. Sneaky, sneaky guy. Oh god, I keep doing that too early, but, you know, it's hard to time things correctly when there's 10 seconds of delay. So I need to, like, predict when the move is gonna end. It seems like that um, my tilt special, though, has a lot of priority. It beats a lot of other things that travel. Um, and hit in the same way that it does. It just ends up eating things, which is, you know, obviously handy. Oh yeah! I guess, I guess my sidestep that I definitely input there was just not meant to be. Okay. Okay, um... I know that boost there may have been a little bit unnecessary, but I am taking this round. And no one's gonna stop me. Okay, need to practice. This is my sidestep button and my dash button. Do not press anything else, especially the ultimate button. Ooh, that hit. He turned around there for some reason, and I don't know why it was different than before. <laughs> that nice was referring to my DP and not anything else. Oh no, I could have punished! I just... Mm, chase him down! Okay, nice armor. <laughs> He's had enough of all of my multi-hitting things. He's like, bro, I don't know what the hell is going on right now. I'm just gonna armor through it. Get me my Fina back. No, wait, yes, he did work. Why did that work? So I guess my hurt box actually goes a bit um earlier than my nice. <laughs> than the hitbox, so people can actually hit me out of this surprisingly often. Oi! Inosuke, why are you still attacking me from behind?
No, what, what, what is what was that? No. No, and my boost didn't come out. Is this gonna kill me? If it does, I don't accept the defeat. What? Why'd that recover? So what? What is going on? I win. I win. I don't know why I won, but I won. Wow. Good job. Good job, Tengen. We're not gonna analyze that at all. Because it was embarrassing yet impressive. So we're just gonna leave it at impressive. The final match. Did I win the first? Did I win both of the first two? Run into that, please. Oh no. Oh, great. Wrong button. <laughs> the parry would have totally worked if I didn't do the wrong thing. He had the read on me, but he didn't know that I don't know how to play the game. Well, that was really intentional. I meant to go for an armor attack and then bring out Makomo, but I ended up just getting hit and then she was... Hey, the classic reset. Okay, so that does seem to be a really good option off of gr off of the grab knockdown. Also, what the hell have my combos been? I don't think I've done any like interesting combo the entire time. Let's see if we can get like a proper combo. B and then go into a grab. See, look. Look at that lovely ender. Look how that does like a nice rounded off amount of damage. I get a nice knockdown. We should do that more. Guess I'm absolutely bursting here because I have no resources. Oi, what happened? How did I hit no one but I also got hit? Oh my god, look how much damage those special moves do when I'm in surge mode. I mean boost mode. That is so nice. Will this kill? No, I just should have done just done some more special moves. I thought it would have been cool to do that though. Should I break this? Should I break? No, it's fine. No, don't you grab me. Oh, come up, yes. Well, they still haven't changed that supports kill. That it, I still find that completely absurd. No! <laughs> Thanks, Makomo. Oh, he can punish me. Yeah, you can punish that no matter what you've done. It's super, super easy to punish. Maybe they've made DPs more punishable around the board, but um, this one in particular is very... While I'm talking about how punishable they are, I just throw out a DP like an idiot? That seems... Um, stupid? Oh, I didn't get out of that like I should have. I can sidestep and jump out of that, but I just didn't. What? Mm. Damn it, you know. <laughs> okay, one. I keep pressing the wrong button to chase him down and go for that punish. Two. God damn it! Why does why does support skill? <laughs> it's only cool when I do it. Oh. Are you gonna break that? Breaks at really weird times, just like any time I'm doing a combo, even if it's at a strange time to break, it'll always break. Oh, but this could be a pretty cool combo that you wanted to break. Oh yeah. Woo! Okay, and then we go for tilt special again and then bring out a support. And then we do it again, and then we bring out our support. Oh, and we won because supports are ridiculous and stupid. Hell yeah, that's how I like to win. I like to abuse mechanics. Woohoo!